Okay, let's see if I can do a video of the walk around the deck without too much noise from those jet skis on holiday. So here we have the solar panels and the bullet Wi-Fi extender antenna. That looks like a lot of rat's nests, but those are to keep the uh, panels from flopping forward. We have the davits, Cato davits, that's the GPS. We have a couple of rod holders. Okay, the swim ladder is down and there is, you can see the back end. It has nice little steps, a couple of shallow steps right here. This is the spacers to keep the single sideband antenna from being too close to the back stay. And there's we have um, a new Windex up there and there's a lightning diffuser. I don't know if it works or not, but we've never been hit by lightning. My goodness they're loud. all the time in Puerto Rico. There is the mainsail cover stack pack that I made in, uh, what was that, 2014, 2015. And you can see the nice new enclosure and nice back deck. Now I will say it's got a little bit of, uh, the birds have been living here a little bit so there's a little bit of mess. There's a uh, storage there. We usually keep the dinghy gas tank in there. This is a storage locker where we keep the um, third, the fortress anchor. There's uh, this right here is where the outboard for the dinghy goes when we're underway and don't have it on the dinghy. We got four nice size fenders. We keep those there and there. That locker is the propane locker. There are two 10 pound propane tanks. And that is a lee board. That is for use whenever you are trying to dock where there's pilings or something that you need to hold the boat off of. You drop those with some fenders. And now we'll just take a little walk along the deck. It's a little rolly, I hope I don't fall down. Over here is where the power cords come in for shore power. There's also a little uh, thing for water if you want to go to dock water. We've never used it so I couldn't tell you if it works or not. One of those uh, things there is a engine room blower fan exit where the exhaust comes out. And off we go again. This right here is part of the running backs. There's running back stays on this boat. We've never used them. Not sure um, what kind of shape they're in because, like I said, we've never put them up. That is a storage bag, and we have just ordered a new one because that one's kind of starting to deteriorate. But that's where we keep all of the extra lines, the bosun's chair, some floats, just uh, lots of sundry things that don't have a, a good place to be inside. There is a boom vane. Underneath that storage, those are skylights. And when that storage bag is not there, if you want to store it somewhere else, there uh, is a lovely amount of light, soft diffused light that comes into the main salon. It's very nice. There is a fishing net. Whoa, fall over. Somewhere there's a boat hook. Okay, we have covers for most of the windows. That hatch window, that hatch there, um, the cover disappeared. I think it must have blown off, and that was recent. So I'm now we still yet may find it, but I think it's gone. This is the Hank on storm jib and it is on the baby stay right now. That baby stay actually disconnects at the bottom underneath that and can go away. I don't know if you can see it or not. That's our uh, 
secondary anchor. It hasn't been used in about three years and it's a little rusty. The other one's down. Now there you can see the snubber and it's in pretty sorry shape. We have all of the stuff to make a new one and uh, so that's either something we'll get to or something the new owner can do as a beginner project. Learn how to splice. Awesome fun. There's the roller furling jib. The jib we have is on was on the boat when we bought it. We've had um, we've had it serviced. We had uh, the sun sun cover extended because it wasn't quite big enough. Ah, there's our friends coming home. Okay, so there's a good shot of just the deck. Lots of room. There's the dinghy over there. Ignore it because it's really dirty. There's another boat hook and a deck scrubber. We have a lot of Sahara dust. Ha <laughs> ha! A lot of Sahara dust on the boat. I don't know if you can see it right here. So we're not going to go too overboard trying to clean the deck because it'll just get dirty again. We may clean it before somebody comes to look at it. These are the eyebrows that keep the rain off of you. These are the Genoa tracks. And here we go. We're back to the beginning. All right, that's it. Looks like uh, there's a little bit of weather over there. Let me know if you have questions.